Disgusting and downright sick case of sexual assault in an Omaha apartment. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. Tonight we're learning more about what investigators believe two people did to a woman after a dispute over money. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski is live with what took place in court today. Jake. Craig and Jen, Douglas County Judge John Huber found enough evidence to move these torture and kidnapping suspects to trial. Now, detectives say one suspect said that he didn't do anything wrong, while the other gave some gruesome details. She's really strong and she has a lot of support behind her. The 37 year old victim is still recovering from a house of horrors, allegedly at the hands of an Omaha couple. That couple, Ronald Ford Jr. and Shivante Green, will now move to trial on charges of kidnapping, sexual assault, false imprisonment, and other felonies. Today, a detective described in detail that the couple assaulted and kidnapped the victim because they felt her boyfriend owed them for a computer. Her family says it was difficult to hear. Well, I had already had heard what had happened to her, so. I was prepared, but it's still horrifying to hear in court um, what, what she experienced and the hell that she had to live through. Over a period of hours about three weeks ago, the victim was allegedly held in a closet at this apartment near 30th and Lothrop. Detectives say Ford stripped her down, beat her with a whip and chain, poured scolding hot water on her, tried to put bleach in her private area, and sexually assaulted her on multiple occasions. The most disturbing investigators say is when Ford and possibly Green sexually assaulted the victim with a broken wooden table leg. It's just hard to imagine somebody doing this to another person, uh, kidnapping, taking this person, holding them against their will, torturing them, sexually assaulting them, and, and putting them through this process is, is again, unimaginable. According to detectives, Green admitted to hitting the victim in the face and was part of at least one of the sexual assaults. Ford denied any wrongdoing and said the victim showed up willingly. Prosecutors say they have the evidence to back up these serious charges. Keel says her cousin's wounds are slowly healing, but the mental scars will take longer to overcome. She probably would have died if um, her boyfriend hadn't found her. I hope that they never see the light of day again. A felony burglary charge was dropped against the couple, but they still face multiple felonies each. Both are being held at the Douglas County Jail on more than $1 million bond each. Reporting live outside the Douglas County Courthouse in downtown Omaha, Jake Wasikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. A man